What I find really exciting about Dr. Batch's discovery of the Pleromedes is the way that he intuited the, the links between the natural world, the world of flowers, of nature, of plants, and our own minds. Edward Batch was a doctor in the 1930s who discovered an amazing connection between the physical world of plants and flowers and um, the state of the human mind. This uh, system became known as the Batch Flower Remedies. The Musical Remedies project is really something that found me rather than me setting out to do. I was um, waking up very early in the morning, going to the piano and finding a series of new tunes and I really didn't know where they were going. After a few days, I found the chart of the Batch Flower Remedies was on top of the piano and I suddenly had this moment of amazement, of a sort of illumination as seeing that the music that I'd been writing was some, somehow a musical reflection of these Flower Remedies. I could see that this one tune corresponded to Sclerantus and this one to Rockwater and this one to Olive and that was really the start of this, this whole project. So I had this initial series of tunes, I think there were nine, and I'd got just the uh, lead sheets, the, the melodies and the chords, and that meant there were another 29 of these flower remedies that I really wanted to, to create music for. And that journey took the rest of the year. Sometimes uh, there were sort of hiccups in the, in the process, and at one, one point I actually started taking some of the remedies to try to feel in tune with them. Um, but by the end of that year, uh, 2004, I had all 38 pieces of music in outline. As the project developed, um, I realised that the, the music could be um, played uh, by different groups of instruments. Some of the remedies seemed ideally suited to the piano on its own. Some uh, seemed to want words, and so I had a friend who um, wrote some words um, to go with the music that I'd written, and, and ten of the pieces turned into songs. Others sounded really good with flute, some with saxophone, some with trumpet and most recently a couple with violin. This year there's um, an international connection developing. In February I was invited to go to Spain to do a concert of Musical Remedies and this was to a group of uh, batch flower practitioners and they were very enthusiastic about the, the concert which was mostly solo piano. Then, uh, even more recently, a Romanian uh, practitioner has downloaded all the tracks from the website and used some of them for a special practical proving session of the chestnut remedies. And she said to me that the uh, session was magic, that the uh, people really related to the music in relation to their experience of taking the remedies. So this is all really exciting.